Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news source on YouTube. My name is Shamari Clark. Bang! Look, look, look! I And this is no joke tonight. You are going to see excessive, excessive alcohol consumption. <laughs> the cigarettes are not going to leave the hand. Excessive tobacco consumption. And look, look, some fuck shit damn. Fuck shit damn. Bang, bang, bang is coming. So if you don't like that, Man, tonight is the day you better leave, boy. You better leave and get the fuck out of here and run to your mama. You better run home to your mama and get your milk and cookies because here I come in three seconds. Three, two, one. Bang! Bang! And I say, boom! Oh, and you know what I'm talking about, brothers. Hold on. Even before I even give out the motherfucking stories of the day, you know why I say that. Why do I say that? Bang! 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 Hold on. Let's get back to it, though, brothers. Hold on. We're going to do this in an orderly manner. Let's do this in an orderly fashion. Bang! Look, brothers. Oh, my gosh. The money. Oh, brothers. Oh, man. It was blood. <laughs> it was blood red today. Luck, 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 luck. Wow! We got the goods today. It is blood. Let me show that even one more time. Actually, I'm going to talk a little bit and just show that shit. Bang! Like that while I talk. Luck, luck, luck. Brothers, it was blood red today. It was nice and crisp. Look, at everything's on sale at a nice price on sale. Don't worry. We're going to get to the... We're gonna. All right, all right. Let's do it in order. I'm getting crazy. Hold on. Man, you know I've been getting fueled. You know I've been getting... Oh, and I have stories to tell. Oh, ripple lovers. Bang! Ripple lovers, I got some shit for you, fuck sticks. <laughs> yes, brothers, yes. Bang, I got some shit for you guys, ripple lovers. All right, all right. So let me tell you what the stories are first. <laughs> luck, luck, luck. You're going to be rich, okay? That's all I can tell you. Well, I can't lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Luck, luck, luck. Woo. All right. All right, let me just calm down a second. <laughs> because the loot. Oh, my gosh, guys. All right, all right. So let me tell you the coins while I <laughs> just have a cigarette. I mean, tell you the stories, not the coins. <laughs> See, my brain, my brain. Man, I'm coined up tonight, son. Man, you're going to be rich. Look, look, look. So we're going to talk about, and we've been talking about this um, over the past few weeks, every once in a while, every couple of days. Well, you know, once a week or so. Uh, the stable coin craze. So we're going to get into that and it's a more, um, so we've talked about the stable coin craze, or at least I've said like, oh man, look at all these stable coins coming out and they come out and everything. But now we're going to, now that they've been out for a while, we can sort of have an analysis of how they're doing, right? Like, well, which stable coin is good, which is bad, not bad, but just not doing as well as the others, right? I mean, they're all good, but just which isn't doing as well as the others or whatever like that. So that's what we're going to take a look at tonight in that perspective. All right, Ripple lovers. Oh, 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 but first before the Ripple lover thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and even before the stablecoin thing, we're going to do a story on buying the dips. I told you the other day, I told you yesterday, BTDI. Also, here's a funny thing. Yesterday, and I know, and I admit it, I admit it, I was wrong. Yesterday, what was I saying? I was like, Guys, you know, just buy your shit, man. I don't think, you know, with the over-the-counter and stuff, I don't think we're going to have a blood red just in case. Go buy stuff. And, of course, the market has to embarrass me by today. Bang! Blood red. But, look, look, I'll take the embarrassment for the money. That's cool with me. <laughs> but, look, do you, right? Yesterday, I'm like, so what I'm thinking is I should just say that every day. Look, guys, buy everything, buy everything, buy everything. There's not going to be a blood red. Let's see if there's a blood red tomorrow. But, look, look, look. So I'm going to show you how to buy those dips. So I told you about BTDI, buy the dips, idiot. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you how it's done. Well, according to this this guy, this crypto guy, uh, I'm sure Ronquez and those guys, they do it differently in the stock market, but whatever. We'll, we'll listen to this guy. Or maybe not. I don't know. Now, Ripple makes a big move. Big move. And, uh, oh, so this is for Desert Garden. Desert Garden. You showed me that article about uh, American Express, Ripple and American Express teaming up. Ripple's already been teamed up with American Express since, uh, I think it was March. 
somewhere around there. I think it was February, March, April, first uh, around there. Um, so when you hear news like that, they've already been teamed up. So that's why I, I, I commented to you. I don't know if you read it, um, but I told you, like, um, you know, I, I don't know why Ripple had that new meeting. But you know that um, Bank of America is doing the custody thing. Maybe they brought them in to ask them about, you know, what their status is with the SEC. Are you guys a security? Are you a commodity? What are you? How's your court cases doing and stuff like that? Like, that's what I think. Because Bank of America already uses Ripple. Bank of America, American Express, and Santander, yeah, they already use X, uh, X Current, guys. <laughs> that's not new news, right? So, but but I do have their, that Ripple does make a big move, and we are going to talk about that big move today. And then a crypto bull run will happen. You know, I like to talk about the money at the end of the night. So, bang, let's do this. All right, brothers, bang. We do a little bang like that, and then we do a bang like that. And then Shamari goes bang like this. Oh, let's refresh it and see where we're at now. Hopefully, it's even more kill. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. What the fuck's taking so long? This is the second day in a row this is taking like this. Bang, yes, even a little more. <laughs> it tried to do a little retrace right here. Bang, and they were like, hell no. Boop, already down. So, bang, bang, let's look at our top 10. And first of all, before we look at the top 10, bang, 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 Ripple lovers. Do you see anything different about this chart, Ripple lovers? Bang, 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 where's XRP? Bang, 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 number two. Bang, <laughs> there you go, Ripple lovers. Wow, I can see you all at home. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Freaking out. There you go, brothers. Ripple is number two in market cap. Bang, and it's official, and they held it all day. I watched this shit all day, and they held it. They held it. So let's look at our top 10 of the day, brothers. It's the usual suspects, just in some different orders than we usually have. Now it's Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. Stellar EOS, Litecoin, Tether Cardano, and Bang Monero still holding on the number 10. Now, bang, let's look at what's on sale. I mean, it's all on sale today, brothers. So whatever you want. So luck, 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 brothers. Look, brothers, you're going to be rich. Okay? You're like the Spartans. Okay? I don't know what weak hands. Look at all those weak hands, all that red. Woo! Man, I don't know what happened, but some weak hands got thrown out the markets today. They ran away like motherfuckers for some reason. I don't know what happened. But, hey, everything's on sale for us. So we're going to get that shit this weekend. And look, look, guys, you're like the... Sp Have you ever seen the movie The Spartans? Sparta! This is Sparta! Bang! And he kicks him. Yeah, you're the strong ones. Remember when they went off to the battle? Right? King Leonidas led his crew. See, we're a brotherhood here, the CB News Brotherhood. That's what you are. You're part of the CB News Brotherhood, guys. We know the real shit that's going on. Like, let's get real. I mean, I'm not going to bullshit you. I go around YouTube. I listen to, I watch these guys. Look, look, they don't know what the fuck's happening. I bet you right now, go to your favorite YouTube channel, your favorite YouTubers, look in their comments. I bet you all their people are shitting their pants. All their subscribers are shitting. <laughs> oh, no. What's happening? What's happening? What the, what the fuck? Not my subscribers. <laughs> Not CB News subscribers. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're licking our chops. <laughs> we are about to savor the meal to come. Look, look. I, I know. I missed it. I, last weekend on Sunday, I did my big cat buy. Son of a bitch. Because I did. I told you yesterday. I believed that this was... I thought that we hit the floor and it wasn't going to crash. Or at least not enough where I would care, you know? <laughs> I didn't think double digits. Bang! But luck, luck. So I made my choice. But you guys know how I always told you. I'll leave money in Coinbase for days like this. So when I'm finished with this right here, I'm going to set up my Forex charts. I'm going shopping, brothers. Going shopping this weekend. I'm going to drain that Coinbase account. Well, what I'm going to do, I'll probably spend half. And I'm going to see if it crashes a little bit more tomorrow. And then I'll put the other half. But then if it sort of stabilizes, then I'll just dump it all in. But look, so I know, I know. But see, bang. You're like Sparta, the Warriors. See what I'm saying? All year. All year it's been blood red. But you're Warriors. You know better. No weak hands around here. 
He know about custody. He know about ETFs. He know what the power of SEC regulation is. And actually, we got to talk about that a little bit later. Let me put that down here. Hold on, because I do have something to tell you about regulation. Um, hold on one second, one second. All right. Sorry. See, you're like the fucking, you're like the Spartans. Remember when the Spartans went off to fight? Right? They went off to fight, and then they went there, and then that other little crew came. Remember the other crew of boys from that other place? And they're like, hey, King Leonidas, we're here to help you. King Leonidas was like, what the fuck is this shit? Right? What the fuck are these weak hands? Right? It was like, you, you, you there. What is your job? What is your profession? Right? And the guy was like, well, I'm a blacksmith king. Right? You know what Leonidas was thinking in his head? Fuck, look at this weak hand ass motherfucker. <laughs> he didn't say it out loud. But that's what he was thinking. And then he said, you, you there. What is your profession? Right? That motherfucker was like, well, I make horseshoes. Oh, Lee and I was like, what the fuck are we working with here? Right? And then he looked at the homeboy and he was like, dude, what the fuck did you bring me? Well, this is the army I got. And he said, check this out. And he said, look, look, look. Spartans, what is your profession? They all said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what you guys are. You're the Spartans. Oh, oh, oh. Tonight, it is blood red, and we are going into battle, and we are going to slay this son of a bitch. We're going to slay them all with our swords. This is a sword. We're slaying. We're going to hack off arms, legs, heads, stab them, choke them, whatever we got to do. Bang, brothers. You are like the Spartan, not weak hands. You see what the weak hands did? That's weak hands today. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fucking market. Double digit blood red. Weak hands. And think about how, how bad it is. Think about how bad it is, brothers. Your soldiers, your soldiers, your Spartans, your CB Newswire brothers. So you know what's happening because you've been here for a while. You know, bang. Look at these suckers. Right before it hit, look at how close they are. Look at how close. Just a few more months. Bang. They sold out. They couldn't hang on. Weak hands. We have no weak hands around here, brothers. No weak hands around here. All right. And that's why I say you're going to be rich. As long as we got weak hands running out, well, you're going to fill your cryptocurrency warehouse nice. This weekend, what your mission is, is bang, bang, bang. Just go get those sales. <laughs> I mean, this ain't rocket science. This is the buying time. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Buy that. Buy what you need. Remember, working product. And the, even better, partnered with major corporations. Major partnerships, okay? And get your cryptocurrency warehouse ready. Take these weekends. These weekends ran away. Fuck them. We'll take those coin. Bang, put them in my warehouse. Because why? Because we're smart. Because you're educated. Bang, because you know there's a tsunami coming. You're like Noah. Look, 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 look. You're like Noah. Look, look, if you're new around here, what do you know about Noah? Look, if you're new, there's a guy in the Bible. His name was fucking Noah, okay? You know the story, the flood and everything, right? But what made him special? What made Noah special was that he acted upon a piece of information that he got, right? He acted upon it. Now, remember, God told him there's a flood. He could have said, man, I must have been tripping last night. I don't know what I drank. That's fucked up shit, right? <laughs> and not done anything. But no, he believed it, and he did it. He built an ark, he built an ark to weather the storm, bang, when it came, right? And that's what you guys are. You're like Noah. If you've been here for any amount of time, my crew, if you're part of the brotherhood, you know who you are, brothers. You've been here for a long time. If you've been watching every single day, look, look, all I got to do is ask you, what's custody? I bet you all of you can answer me right the fuck now what custody is and why it's important. If I ask you what the fucking ETF is, you can tell me. And if I ask you which kind of ETF it is, bang, you can tell me even more. That's the soldiers. 
Those are my Spartans. I got Spartans here, and look, look, look. That's who you are, but you're like a Noah, too. Bang! Because you know of an event. You know of an event. That's coming. It's called Institutional Investor Tsunami Money. Money Tsunami. Hold on. Look at what one of the brothers, one of the brothers last night. Right? You know of a tsunami to come. And what are you doing? You're preparing yourself. Just like Noah. Just like Noah. Here it comes, brothers. Bang. See that tsunami? Bang. Here it comes. Look, look, look. Just like Noah. Right? And what happened? I know. Well, how am I like Noah? Look, look. Because you know why? Because you're hearing the yap, yap, yap. Even though you know something is occurring. I know how it is, brothers, in your lives right now. Right? You got your buddies. Yo, man. Why aren't you coming out with us to the bar, man? Why, why don't you come hunting with us, man? Why aren't you coming to Vegas with us, bro? Got to save that money. Got to buy that crypto. And you're like, look, 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 dog, I just don't have the money. <laughs> Unfortunately, they know how much you make, so they know you have the money. And so they're like, look, man, what the fuck? And then what? Oh, and then you got to hear the yap, yap, yap from the other side. <laughs> and <then laughs> this is the worst one because you got to go home to this one every day. Your homies, you can just sort of, hey, I don't have time to see you. But this one. You got to sleep in that same bed. Damn. And you're just hearing, ba ba ba. We need a new stove. We need a new bathroom. Blah, blah, blah. Why aren't we going on vacation? And you're like, look, look, honey, I don't have the money. Yeah. yeah, because you're buying all that crypto crap. Look, you're down. You know you're down. She knows you're down. She doesn't get it, though. She doesn't understand there's a tsunami coming. She doesn't know. So she's giving you the yap, yap. Look, look, look. We have a brother around here named Justin Williams. He gave us the words. If you're new around here, cryptocurrency, blockchain news, and all the crew that hangs out here in the comments, in the Twitter, Discord, all that, we have one saying, shut up, wife. I'm about that total life. Bang. That's how we roll around these parts, brothers. And that's why. Because of blood red days like this, when tsunamis are coming like this. That's why we hodl. We hodl hard. All right? <sighs> Fuck, guys. <laughs> I just love a day like this. All right. So let's continue how the this 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 thing. Oh, 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 no. But we're not done. No. But just like Noah, they didn't believe, right? What did Noah do? He was telling his people, look, guys, there's a flood coming. Build a boat. Build a boat. They didn't want to believe. What are you telling your friends? Hey, guys, yo, man, look, look, just grab a couple Bitcoin, a couple Litecoin, man. You're going to make a lot of money. There's a tsunami coming. A flood is coming. Right? A flood is coming. Your friends don't listen to you. My friends don't listen to me. I tell them, yo, take all the extra money you can and get your shit. They don't want to hear that. All right. They don't want to build an ark. They don't want to build an ark. But you're building an ark. And look, look, look. Look, look, look. Eventually, the day of reckoning occurs. A day, uh, sorry, eventually, one day, the flood comes, the tsunami hits, <laughs> and everyone is washed away, whoosh, whoosh, all wishing they had just built a fucking little ark, and they could have been all safe, but nope. They're just getting washed away, and that's like you. But Noah was safe. Oh, 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 and this is what I want to tell you, though. But before the flood, all right, we'll just leave it at that, right? So you got your ark, and they'll all be washed away, and you'll be sitting there. I told you, fuckers. What was Noah doing? I told you guys. Now you're all dead, so <laughs> all right. All right, so that's the story, brothers. Bang. No weak hands. Building an ark. Bang. All right. So, oh, there's XRP in number two. So, fuck. So, we're going to look at the top. Oh, we haven't even gotten into stories yet. So, let's look at the top 10 losers of today. Holy. So, man, if something is on sale here, go get it. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. Bang. What do we got? Top 10 loser of the day. IOST, Hypercash, Elf, Ravencoin, Ark. Cyber Miles, all oh, Stratus, I'm coming to get you. Aeon, Loop Ring, and Zillica. Bang, Stratus. Those guys are cool. They fucking build blockchains for people. Look, look, let's see top 10 earners. 
What the shit? NASDAQ coin? Holy crap. 301% today? That's crazy. Uh, Insight Chain, USD coin, Paxos Strander, True USD, Tether, DAI, Serum Labs token, Metaverse ETP, and QASH. Yes, bang. Now, I've already looked at this part. Well, I looked earlier. Yes, exactly. Look at that market cap way down. Yo, that market cap got eaten today, boy. Oh, that got eaten today. But look at that fucking volume. We're at what? What was it yesterday? What? 11,000, 13,000 or something? Bang. Or sorry, not 1,000, billion? <laughs> 24 billion today. So what I think happened, some, some savages just came out and shorted the fuck out this market. Big time. Look at the volume. 24 billion today. So, man, that was a big short. Now, all right, man, I'm, I'm so happy. So look at, look at, look at everybody. You got to go buy your crypto now. If you're new around here, you're probably wondering why the fuck I'm so happy. Look, because that means shit's on sale. When you see prices like this, <laughs> look, that means stuff is on sale, right? It's not a bad thing. Go buy it now. When you go to the store and it says 15% off of this t-shirt, don't you go buy it? Yeah, well, it's the same fucking thing. It's just another asset or just another product. Yeah, except the beauty of this product is you know that there's a bunch of institutional investors that are coming gazillionaires billionaires and multi multi billionaire trillion dollar companies that are coming to buy this stuff from you which is going to drive the price up so you buy it now while it's cheap right all right now let's get on to our regular stories Woo! I, I told you get your stuff this weekend boys bang 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 oh it's not even the weekend what day is it today oh, oh okay my bad all right luck luck ripple bang and I just told this to you, but let's just read it anyway. Ripple lovers, ripple hodlers, there you are. <laughs> I love you guys. Every day, someone's asking me, so you're going to buy those? I'd give you a good ripple story. So, Shamar, are you going to get those ripples back yet? So, Shamar, are you going to buy those ripples back yet? Like, guys, what the hell is wrong with you people? Huh? Why are you such ripple lovers? It's a fucking company that moves money from there to there. Like... Are you in love with Western Union? Are you in love with MoneyGram? Like, what the shit is wrong with you people? Shamari, no, don't sell the ripple. You know, it's like you think, it's like as if I'm standing on the side of a building about to jump off. And you're like, no, Shamari, there are people who love you. There's life worth living. Stay like, holy crap. I love you, Ripple guys. And that's why I keep giving you guys the news. Shamar, are you going to buy your Ripple yet? Every night people are asking me. Ronk has even asked me the other night. And he's a market guy. I was like, I'm I'm not surprised about the rest of you, but Ronk has. I was like, Ronk has, please. Come on. All right. So Ripple overtakes Ethereum for second position. Bang. And we're just, it's a tiny little article. It's literally just one paragraph, but we're going to read it anyway. Upon Bitcoin drop below the year's lowest, the market follows and deep dives in the red, leaving many hodlers speechless as the anticipated breakout went the wrong way. <laughs> Thank you. Among all leading coins, which are experiencing double-digit drops, the speedy XRP is only 8% in the red for the last 24 hours, which concluded, which concluded with the digital app asset overcoming ethereum's well-cemented second position and stand only behind bitcoin so that's what i wanted to bring up is just that little thing i mean i already told you about it and you can see it from the chart so it's but anyway just to read something about it bang but look at it, it's close only 387 18 380 18 these guys are probably going to be bouncing back and forth for a minute all right bang Here's why crypto investors should consider buying the dip. And so I wanted to bring this story up for if you're new around here, you know, you're wondering why me and my buddies are laughing our asses off. Last night, what did homeboy tell me? <laughs> Hold on. Where was that? Oh, that's in the, sorry. What did this guy tell me? Right? If you're reading our comments, you're probably wondering why a guy would say some shit like, where did he, where was he? Hold on, hold on. 
There's a desert garden. Bang, see you, brother. But look at this guy, right? Cryptocurrency blockchain news. Yo, Shamar, you okay, bro? Well, you've got your blood red day for sure. Bang. And then he bang, bang. Probably wondering, why the fuck are you guys all happy about that? Luck, 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 because there's a tsunami coming. And uh, it doesn't matter what the prices of your stuff are now. Just buy the dips, idiot. B-T-D-I. So here is why crypto investors should consider buying the dip immediately. So I'm going to let you hear it from the news. Uh, even though I am an 18-year investor, go to go to forexfactory.com, type my name in, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. You can see some of my old trades and stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. Actually, my money makes me money. I don't have a nine-to-five job. I am a market master, market murderer, and I'm going to help you murder this market here. Anyways, the crypto market seems to be sinking faster than the Titanic. <laughs> in a few hours, the market has lost over $20 billion in market capitalization. It is hard to find a single crypto coin that isn't experiencing a double-digit loss. Bitcoin has already lost over 800 in a few hours. It's currently trading at 5589, uh, which represents a 12% loss. Uh, the same applies for the rest of the altcoins, with many averaging losses between 10 and 20% uh, in the past few hours. Even though the situation doesn't seem like it's likely to change anytime soon, Crypto investors that have been in the industry for long enough know whenever a significant dip takes place, the market immediately bounces back even stronger. So when a dip takes place, the market bounces back. And this is what I want you guys to know. Like as a market guy, I'm just going to tell you this. Once prices have meet, reached a certain point, that is sort of your zero Fibonacci level. I'm not going to explain what Fibonacci's are, but go look at, a Fibon go look at what Fibonacci's are and how they're used in Investopedia. But that's your zero Fibonacci level. So prices, look, 95% of the time always reach where they've been. That's called PT1, price target one. Then to go through, that's your price target two and three. Um, and so that's what I'm telling you. Just buy all this, buy all you can right now. These prices are definitely going to go to at least their highest. And once these investors come in, institutional investors uh, as opposed to these retail investors that brought the price up to that price that height it's going to explode through these guys have multiple multiples of tens of thousands of times more money than the than these retailers did that brought the prices up okay so the golden rule of crypto investing any seasoned crypto investor any investor knows of the golden rule when it comes to crypto investing buying the dips so what means so what seems like misfortune is actually an excellent opportunity for smart investors to add on their crypto holdings. We know that there's money coming. We know it doesn't matter all this up and down before they get here. Who gives a shit? Up 10, down 10, up 100, down 100, down 1000, up 1000. Who cares? Who cares? It's going to be up way more when these guys get here. And so uh, it's not Bitcoin only that presents an excellent opportunity to make some good returns once the market bounces back. The same case applies to the other top cryptocurrencies, as you can see with the table above. Now, how buying the dips works? Well, start by buying incrementally as the price goes down. Aim at creating an average position and buy some more as the price decreases further. So that's what we've been doing, guys. Well, I mean, I didn't tell you the specifics, but that's what we've been doing. When I first started this channel, right, we were way up at the top. And I've been telling you, we've been buying all the way, all the weekends, we've been getting their shit, right? That's what we've been buying, right? I mean, I didn't tell you about the whole average position shit because that you got to factor in all this other bullshit. I'm not going to get into that, but we've been buying on the way down, all right? Uh, so, you can wait until the price settles or even show signs of recovering and buy at that point. And so, that's what happened to me last on Sunday. I bought, man, we were, we were stable for, what, a month? So, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to get my big caps now. <laughs> Should have waited, but whatever. It doesn't matter because it, it's going to fly up anyway. I don't give a fuck about a couple hundred dollars worth of whatever. Um, but when it's down like this now, now you really buy. Uh, number three. You can set buy orders at lower prices, which are lower than current prices, and wait for them to fill. 
a strategy that works well in setting buys just before historic support levels. Um, they are also known as psychological levels, right? Psychological eras. So what they're trying to talk about is exactly psychological levels of support and resistance. So psychological levels of support and resistance, at least in the Forex world, and I believe it's in stocks too, are round numbers in the 50. So for instance, in the crypto world, uh, sorry, the Forex world, my world, um, something being down, man, how do I explain it to you guys? So the dollar is one thing, and then say the euro is down 120, or up, actually, the euro is up against us, 127. Well, 127.5, uh, 126, 125.5, those are the psychological areas, areas of support and resistance. The round, it's called the round numbers and the 50s. And I think that's what this fucker is trying to say. And I'm, I don't know if it really works for this crypto market because, like I said, these are amateurs. They don't know what they're doing. But when these guys get here, the psychological areas of support and resistance are going to work real heavy. All right. Uh, prices tend always to bounce quickly once they hit these levels. Yes. That's where you'll see things move on the, on the round numbers and on the 50s. Um. All right, and so that's it. So bang, bang. Buy the dips, fuck sticks. Buy the dips. Now let's get to regular news. All right. CoinJark. Oh, yes, this stablecoin thing. So you guys know that the stablecoin wars are going on. So this CoinJar co-founder says stablecoins are the craze right now. And they are. So let's read about the craze. The co-founder of Melbourne-based Bitcoin exchange has said that stable coins are the craze right now. With money and expertise moving towards it. Asher Tan is one of the founders of CoinJar, a Bitcoin exchange based in Melbourne. Speaking in an interview with the Financial Review, he talked about the rise of stable coins. The interesting thing right now, he says, is what's on everyone's lips. It's what you call a stable coin. A stable coin is a coin pegged to a currency, usually the US dollar. It's crazy right now. It helps you transfer money around the crypto ecosystem at a stable rate. But there's a whole lot of applications or use cases that could come out of it. Uh, he went on to state, that even though the concept of stable coins has been around for some time, it's only now money and expertise are flocking to it. In London, I see a lot of finance people getting into it. I know. See? People with 10, 20 years of Forex experience, exactly. Why do you why do you live on London time, Shamar? Yeah, because that's where the Forex shit is, man. I mean, America, we rock Forex too, but everybody knows. When those boys in London wake up, that's when the currency markets really go. Real currency, not this crypto crap and i'm a forex trader so literally that's why i'm awake right now this is my breakfast time i'm gonna it's 1 55 a.m yeah in an hour and five minutes i'm gonna go to work on my on my uh charts anyways though london so london is a huge all i'm i guess what i'm trying to say is london is a huge financial place and so you got to look at what they do is a big deal when it comes to economics globally uh it's drawing a lot of people from traditional financial circles. Exactly, it drew me, right? It's drawing the London Forex guys. Yeah, it drew me. I'm a Forex guy. Of course. We're going to eat this shit up. <laughs> um, it's drawing a lot of people from traditional finance circles. Just because it's interesting. It's intriguing. There's a lot of upgrade upside to it. Yeah, there's a lot of upside. You're in the There's a tsunami coming. Just hodl. The most popular stablecoin is Tether which is supposed to be backed by the U.S. dollar. Bang, bang, bang. We already know about Tether. Now, though, so we're going to kind of go over a list of these coins. In September, it was reported that the Winklevoss twins had received New York State approval to launch the Gemini dollar, a U.S.-backed dollar cryptocurrency. IBM is also considering joining the race. The multinational technology company... Oh, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Let's talk about IBM for a second. Look, IBM and Microsoft, they are making huge moves in the, in the blockchain space. Um, uh, huge, 
they're all over the place. Like, I know it's cryptocurrency blockchain news, and I'm supposed to be telling you, like, blockchain stories as well. But, I mean, it seems like you guys just all have crypto, and so that's why I just keep talking the crypto. But, actually, the blockchain thing, uh, adoption is huge. Like, you want crypto adoption. I don't know about your crypto adoption, but blockchain adoption is happening at a rapid rate. And IBM and Microsoft are the two big monsters doing it right now. Uh, the multinational technology company is looking into a cryptocurrency that's tied to the U.S. dollar, which would rely on a platform created by Stellar. Bang. IBM and Stellar. Bang, bang, bang. We read about it. Stellar. IBM is going to use Stellar for their for their money shit. Right. They're going to uh, for the. All right. All right. Come on. Talk in proper English. They're going to use them as the uh, base for their money transfer system, right? Remember we we watched that video? And what was different is it, you don't have to use the Stellar Lumens to do the transactions. The IBM guy said they're gonna allow any coin to go over Stellar if they want. And uh, that's why, look man, I don't wanna get down on anyone, but let's get real guys. Stellar's probably gonna be doing the banking stuff. Not Ripple. Anyways. Created by Stellar. Nah, I didn't even know about the cryptocurrency part. I just knew about the platform part. I mean, we all did. We all watched that video, right? Oh, Stellar's. I'm going to get mad. Actually, there we go. I'm going to get some of those tonight. Paxos, the company behind the ItBit crypto exchange, also received permission from the New York Department of Financial Services. Remember I told you about NYDS, NYDFS? They're the hardest thing to get regulated by. Like, if they approve you, you're good. For their U.S. dollar-backed Paxos standard cryptocurrency. Goldman Sachs-backed Circle. And Circle, actually, right now, is the one that is the cryptocurrency that is being received, is the uh, stable coin that is being received the best. I didn't do a story on it, but believe me when I tell you. Goldman Sachs-backed crypto, uh, sorry, Circle, has also released its own stable coin. The USD coin is backed by the U.S. dollar as well. These are just a few examples of stable coins. However, they show the increasing interest the market is showing in is showing it, proving, as Ten says, that they are the craze right now. We talked about stablecoin wars. Uh, that's what's going on right now, man. Uh, everyone wants to take over. Uh, was it Tether? Dudes are coming out with an Australian dollar back stablecoin, a New Zealand dollar back stablecoin, a Japanese dollar back stablecoin. So. This battle is going to go on for a while. We'll see into next year how this all pans out. <laughs> we'll see how it pans out. All right. Last story. Bang. Bang. Binance CEO. Sooner or later, a crypto bull run will happen. I know. He's, a, he's obviously the CEO of an exchange. So obviously, he's not going to tell you this shit's going to crash, <laughs> which it isn't. So don't worry about that. But let's just hear what he has to say. After discussing Binance's current prospects for a number of min for a number of minutes, uh, this guy Numer he was uh, asking Zhao about some shit, better known as CZ, what could be a precursor to this nascent market's next bull run. So CZ, the CEO of this is a fast story, the CEO of Binance says taking a brief tangent, the crypto centric CEO added that the cooling of the ICO market is a healthy sign as it pushes for projects to actually produce proper products, services, and tokens to entice investors. Right. The more the SEC uh, cracks down on ICOs, yeah, well, the better products that come out. Right? Five years ago, I could have done an ICO based on fuck all. Now, it has to actually do something and really work and everything. Like They're going to look at it, right? Uh, doing his best to take a stab at Nero's question, Zhao then noticed that the arrival of institutions... Oh, noted that the arrival of institutions may be a really strong trigger, drawing attention to the launch of regulated stablecoins and institutional products like Fidelity Digital Assets. Bang! And or backed. Backed? When is that? That's coming this month. Oh, that might be the next couple of days. Bang! We're going to have something to talk about. Cool. For example, but still, seeing that price haven't moved even with the establishment of these startups, Binance's CEO added that he'd be hard-pressed to pinpoint a specific event or product. Exactly. 
it's going to be a gradual thing. It's not going to be like, oh, so-and-so gets the ETF, now the market blows up. So-and-so gets custody, now it blows up. It's just that they're all going to trickle in slowly. You know, It's going to trickle in over time and build a momentum, right? So it's not like Q2 next year, bang! It's just going to be, but prices are going to be moving up, right? Slowly, and then the more people that pile in, it'll accelerate in terms of price growth and that's why you have to have strong hands. That's why I told you I'm not, I'm not even uh, thinking of cashing in any of this till Q4 of 2020, because by then, boom, we should have a big momentum going. The a momentum that I like. I mean, it's up to you what you do with your money, but just right, it's going to be gradual. It's not going to be you know like one day this and the next day bang, you know, just crazy. <laughs> All right. So still, Zhao concluded. His take on the question said that something will trigger a bull run sooner or later. Zhao's bullish settlement comes amid reports that a growing number of analysts and industry leaders are calling for a bottom and subsequent rebound in the crypto market. All right. So, bang, just, you know, I just want to put that money, you know, I like the money, I like a little money talk, and so this was the only money story I could find today. <laughs> so I dropped that one on you. But here we go. Bang, shout outs and airdrops. All right. What do we got? Airdrop at 2410, the Hurricane Master. See you, brother. Bang. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What's this? Oh, I don't know. Looks Russian or Greek. Well, whatever, girl. Whatever your name is. Bang. See you. Louise Dameron, Y Trade Club. Bang. See you, girl. Tim Bryan, see you, buddy. Bang. Pollywood. Oh, what did Pollywood have here? What is this? Oh, oh, there's a meetup. Yeah, yeah. So this is right, this is here in Miami Beach. <laughs> this is where I live. I'm not going to go. I don't need to be, I don't need to have a pep rally. I'm already invested and I'm not going anywhere. So <laughs> I don't need to go uh, listen to a pep rally. But if anyone wants a pep rally on Tron, there's going to be one right here in Miami Beach on December 4th. Bang. So, I mean, Pollywood, if you come down here for that, I mean, we'll hook up. We'll chat. We'll have some drinks or something, you know, whatever you want. But I'm not going to this fucking meetup thing. But look, look, meetup. Bang, Tron. All right. What else do we got? Marion Miller, Tease. Bang. Wow. All these ladies all of a sudden here, right? Bang, all right, good stuff. I like to see the ladies in it. I wish my sister would fucking get in it. You know, she's a, oh, you know, she's a doctor and, you know, all this bullshit. And, you know, she doesn't know about, look, look. Stupid. She wants to just keep working. All right. Cousin David, bang, see you, brother. And there's our tsunami. That looks like more like storm clouds, but whatever, good enough. Eh, drapa. Wrong, cause you son of a bitch. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Yeah, drop off. See you, brother. Eugene, Eugene Eng. Bang, see you, brother. Oh, you have Justin Yellen's picture there? <laughs> really? Oh, you're a derivatives guy. Oh, okay, so you know stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense now. Oh, and there's the master of airdrops, Bob. Look, 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 guys. If you're new around here, we get airdrops. Free coins. Yes, free coins. Just go to Bob. At 844-11320 on Twitter. He's part of the Cryptocurrency Blockchain crew. And uh, he'll sort you out. Go to his top three uh, tutorials. Read those. And look, look, do them. And then do the airdrops, all right? Bang, there you go. All right, airdrop above. Ning, what do we got here? Holy, lots of girls tonight. Say put Ramat, Bang. Nice. Good, good. Oh, we're down here to bang, bang, and all this. And Crypto Doodle. What's this guy name, right? Bitcoin Doodle. Bang. All right. So that's good enough. That is good enough. Now, brothers, you know, it's my favorite time of the day. Bang, let's chill it and kill it. Let's everyone go home. I wasn't talking too much. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to talk about this, though, too. Coinbase. So you know how Coinbase is listing securities? Or sorry, listing new coins. Yeah, guess what, guys? They are going to the SEC per coin. 
and asking the SEC, hi, SEC, we want to list this coin. Is it a security or not? And the security, I mean, the SEC is giving its ruling. That's why Coinbase is listing uh, those coins. Any coin listed on Coinbase is not going to be a security. I read it on this thing. I'm sure there'll be another article. The article I read it on, it was really, you know, you guys have your techie techie in blockchain world. Well, we have techie techie in our in the finance world, and you guys wouldn't understand that. And I'm not going to sit around and explain everything to you, but on that article. But that's what I read. They're getting approval per coin. Can we list this? Yes. Bang. That's why OX is on there. Can we list this? Bang. That's why uh, whatever the one. What was that? The BAT, uh, basic intentions on there. Yeah, they're going coin by coin. Fuck this shit. They're like, look, SEC, rule on that. Rule on that. So bang, brothers, that's just a little something I want to tell you a little. Just so you know, like, right? Because how is Coinbase listing all these all of a sudden? Because they didn't want to list securities. Yeah, they're making the SEC tell them, look, we want to list this. Is that a security or not, fuck stick? <laughs> and the SEC's like, hmm, that's good. They're like, all right, bang, listed. How about this, SEC? Mm, yeah, it's a security. Coinbase like, all right, sorry, buddy. Look, that's how it goes. All right, buddy, so let's chill and kill it. Bang, subscribe below. Press the bell. Brothers, this is my favorite time of the day. Therapeutic, and I love it. So we had a good day today. It's blood red. So it's blood red, boys. Tonight, go get your goods. Let's take another look at the party that we are in. Bang, just one more time. Bang, let's just take a look. Oh, look at everything on sale, brothers. So get what you want. Get what you want tonight. And uh, uh, I mean, I'm not even going to bullshit you. I have a little money in Coinbase. So I'm going to probably take half of it because I don't want to miss out on this. So I'm going to take half of it tonight and buy shit. But I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm going to wait to see if uh, if we go even more blood red tomorrow. But if we sort of stabilize or don't go down, <laughs> then I'm just going to buy more shit. All right. That's just a little tidbit of what i'm gonna do brothers look 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 brothers i love you guys bang cryptocurrency blockchain brotherhood bang uh subscribe below uh, if you're new uh press the bell you'll get automatic updates look 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 my name is shamari clark and i love the money i love the bread i'm gonna help you bang get this tsunami subscribe below press the bell and watch every day my name is shamari clark bang and i'm always on duty bang over and out